guys welcome to a new vlog it's sunday and i'm just about to snuggle down with the cats for a cup of tea i've got my almond croissant if you remember in the vlog last week i made those so i'm going to have one of those with a cup of tea and hopefully later today i will be making a roast chicken got miss lil here hi sweet pea and then i've got this little fluffy guy So this week, I'm hoping to do a few projects. So one that I'm pretty excited about, uh, I'm gonna show you. In our entry, you know this side, you see it quite often, but on this side, I've got this thrifted basket, um, which I'm using as an umbrella stand. I need a few more little decorative umbrellas to put in there, but then there's this, which I don't think is particularly nice. So I am going to show you a DIY this week on how to decoratively cover this. This light switch is hardly ever used, and to be honest, I hate when people accidentally turn it on. So I'm gonna cover that up and then put a few hooks. So I can't wait to show you that because it's gonna be really cool and I'm sure I'll get up to other shenanigans. So if you are new here, I'd really appreciate if you hit the little subscribe button. And if you are not and you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Alrighty, let's get going on the week. It's an absolutely glorious day and I'm not a sports person, but I can now see that the Super Bowl is on. I do not sport, but I will tell you that we have the Bell Alt TV app and it is pretty amazing. It wasn't much extra on our internet and it tells you what is trending, which is my favorite thing. You can also just view the TV guide, which is amazing. Um, and then you also get Crave TV and if you are watching a TV show and you don't catch it live, it will tell you continue enjoying and then show the latest episode of the show, which is amazing. So it has like a PVR, but it's not a PVR and it's super cheap. So that is an amazing thing that I discovered when we moved. I've been informed that we are watching the Super Bowl and we're not having a roast dinner and we're gonna order in. So that's fine. Um, Chris is just taking a nap but uh, I came up to do a little bit of work for my internship. It's going pretty well. I think what I find is slightly irritating is that with the regular job, you have set hours that you're gonna work, but with my internship, um, just kind of like picking up random projects where I can help out and there's no set hours, it's just like, if I'm available to do something, then I do it. And I am very much a planner. So anyways, grand scheme of things. I'm getting my hours in, which is great. Um, and working on things that I haven't done before. So I'm learning or working on things on Photoshop, which um, I said in another video, I haven't done in forever. So that is also a great learning experience. Little Finn is uh, playing with what I call his jitterbug. It's this little tiny bug that lights up and he just flicks it around. And Lily is sitting in her bed next to me. So they're all bugging mom and not bugging dad at all. Bunting, got a hand on it. Quite the workstation going on today. So I'm working on the little prints that I'm putting in the front hall. So let me show you. So I printed a bunch of different prints and different sizes. So this frame was in the bookcase before. It's one of my favorites. I thrifted it in England a long time ago, but I really love the detailing on the edge. Um, so I think I'm putting this print in it. And then I have another frame that I've just put gold leaf on. So it's in the kitchen. So um i'm just gold leafing that and hopefully it will dry soon and then i can put the print in that one for the picture i'm putting on top i'm leaning towards this however this was the one i intended to put on top but i'm waiting until the frame's done so i'm just gonna put this one into this frame and go from there all right, so Canada Post just dropped off a package and it's my Sephora one, but is this not the biggest Sephora box you have ever seen in your life? Like you can see the kitten in my foot beside it. It is huge. Oh my goodness, can't wait to open that. 
I feel like this deserves an unboxing because I've never seen such a big Sephora box. <clears throat> so it says, Rewards Bazaar, this is big. A reward like this calls for celebration and we want to see it. Oh, it just says, snap and share using hashtag Sephora Rewards. So this is an ambiance diffuser. You make me nervous. A little snuffer. Wick trimmer. I think I might be so here's the candle lid, I think. <clears throat> Look at this. It's huge. Jeez, it smells good. It smells a little manly, to be honest, but the cats are having so much fun. Well, this is pretty cool. So let's put this on. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Like, who uses a candle this big? The only thing I can think of is in the summer that I will put it out on the patio. And this is just a pretty bottle. So that is pretty cool. back in. Honestly though, this is such a humongous candle. I really like the little accessories that it came with. I think it's a really, really nice kit overall. And these candles are worth $275 when I looked it up. Did you guys see that? Complimentary cat. Comes with every box. I just had to come in the bathroom to show you the outrageousness of this situation. He really likes the body warmth, I think. And it is pretty damn cute to look down and see this little fluff. Feeling super frustrated. I'm still waiting for this drapery tape to make the pleats for the curtains. It was supposed to come on the third, then it was just sitting at the Canada Post warehouse for a while. It was supposed to come yesterday. Still not here today. So I'm really frustrated. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'm hoping it'll show up in the next few days and then maybe um, I'm gonna see if I can just drop this off at my mom's and she can just get it all done for me. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Just feeling upset and frustrated with the whole thing. I've been fiddling with the coffee table while I was waiting for my tea and croissant to warm um, because we had this like gross box under here filled with chocolate. So now we have a chocolate vase. So that's kind of funny, but it looks great. It's only if you stand over top that you know it's filled with turtles and Reese's. And um, I put the little snuffer on here. I think ideally I'll put a bigger candle, but the one that I love, I have at the front door because I like that when you come in the house, that's what you smell. So maybe I should just take the one off the mantle or something and you can tell I'm trying to figure out underneath and I've pulled everything out. But in classic fashion, I'm just gonna go upstairs and leave it a huge mess for now. I'll figure it out later but I think that functions a little better for us. So this DIY is going to show you how to hide ugly wall technology and outdated stuff that you can't remove. So this is from our old doorbell. This is for our alarm system. And then that is a light switch that is on a timer. And if anyone plays with it, it messes the whole system up. So I'm going to cover these up and make this a much prettier little nook in our front entry. I've got the first frame on the wall. It looks really good. Um, what I ended up doing 
was putting one screw at the top um, and then one at the bottom and they are out quite far. The bottom screw is literally just to support the bottom so that the frame isn't on a really big angle and it looks a little bit um, more natural, I guess you could say. And then the top one I am working on still, I'm going to do a similar method with just a screw. The 3M hooks did not hold very well. I got it up. It looks pretty cute. Of course, the top one looks a little um, further out than I would like, but I can't help it because of the doorbell. But the bottom one looks lovely. I'm so glad I put this frame here because it was just getting hidden on the bookcase and I really love this frame. So happy with that. And then I'm hoping to get a better umbrella and a uh, shoehorn or something to put in this little basket. But I also love that little nook and I was originally going to put some hooks underneath but I think I'm just going to leave it plain and simple for now um because I do have this table to put my keys and purse and stuff on but I am going to order a little box a decorative box that I can put on the bottom shelf just for um extra things like I always keep a pen at the front door because we have a lot of return to sender mail right now um also, I have a box knife just to open packages. It's not actually a box knife. It's like a little safety opener thing. And um, our second set of car keys because we don't really drive anywhere. So I want a little box to put right here just to keep those things in that aren't used very often. And then I decided to hide my keys in that. So yeah. I thought I'd also mention the way that I was going to do this was to put um, a little block of wood behind the picture frame and add a hinge so that you could um, easily just open the picture, I guess, to access what's behind. I don't think this is particularly hard to just take it off of the hook, but I think that um, a hinge is also a great option, especially if you want to do that to your thermostat. Um, a hinge would work really well. And then the block of wood obviously just pushes the frame out so that it's not sitting on whatever you're hiding. Hey, little buddy. You're so cute. I was on a bit of a roll last night um, and the night before after work, actually. So the night before, um, I had a chicken that I needed to roast. It wasn't gonna make it to the weekend. So I put in a roast chicken. I did so much vacuuming and floor cleaning, which was incredible. Um, that day, the drapery tape also arrived and I'm gonna drop it off at my mom's this weekend with all the fabric so she can get working on the curtains for me. Um, she might just do the living room ones because she wants to show me how to do the dining room ones. Lily would like to say hello. No. playtime around here. You can tell she's thrilled about it. Um, and then last night I decided I wanted to fix the spot in our living room where all of the cables for the TV are. And because we have the frame TV, it's pretty much just has one tiny little wire coming from it, but you still have to put the box somewhere. Plus we have our modem and all these things. And that is why there was a huge basket in the corner of the living room. It was all tucked behind. But I came up with a new idea. So I'll show you that. So here it is now that I've fixed it a little more. If you remember, there was a huge, huge basket here before um, and all the wires were running across because our plug is here and our modem cable was there. So now I've got a smaller basket that looks the same and I've got our TV box in the very bottom of this because the wicker was so wide, I could run the cables easily through it um, and then I put a baking tray just so that nothing was sitting on top of it and there's air for it to vent, um, not that the box gets very hot. And then I put the blankets on top to hide it, but I didn't want to put the modem in there for the internet, so I put that behind a pillow and then the rest of the wires are there. So the only thing that's in here is actually like the TV box. Um, and I think it's safety wise, it should be okay. And of course, I wanted to make sure that the Wi-Fi modem could actually send its signal out to the rest of the house. Because I think that's how it works. I don't know. 
Um, and then in our last house, we were able to, um, or in the condo, we were able to hide this wire in the wall, but I don't think that would be very easy to do here because it's lath and plaster. And because I'm hoping to do belt-ins, I've just fed the cord down here. And I'm actually wondering if I should just paint it the same color as the wall to hide it a little bit better. So that's what I'm thinking there. And I switched up the art as well. It's Kitty City over here. I mentioned it before, I really wanna do the picture frame molding in here and I went to place the order this week plus um, stuff for other projects and picture frame molding is sold out everywhere. Um, Home Depot is sold out, it had two pieces at the store nearby, um, that's not useful. I needed like 20. And um, Lowe's is sold out, the primed stuff is sold out, so I'm kind of feeling a little bit deflated about that because I really want to get it done. I know that it will happen eventually, just that felt like a doable project for me, and now I just feel like I it's postponed again. Um, so that's a little frustrating, so I didn't bother ordering the other things because I want Chris to drive me to Home Depot, and um, I don't want to make him go multiple times because I know he won't be thrilled about that. So that's why I'm just waiting until I can get everything. Um, I still haven't done anything about the sofa situation, um, but we have a sectional at the cottage that is Ikea. And I've been humming and hawing about trying it because it would fit perfectly. So the big section of the sofa would go along here and then the smaller chunk would come to about, I think, probably here and then I'd have like a little table or um, a floor lamp or something. And the reason I've been humming and hawing about it because I'm like, do I want Ikea in my main living room of the house? And should I even care that it's Ikea? So that was kind of like a silly dialogue going on in my, ho in my head. Um, but I decided that maybe we should just bring the one from the cottage and try it. Number one, to see how we like the feel of having that size of a sectional in here and save the hassle of ordering something similar and then having to return it. So I'm thinking even though that itself bringing it here is a hassle, um, I mean, it's Ikea, it comes apart, it's not the end of the world. So I'm thinking that I might try to do that. And tell me your thoughts, maybe that's insane. Um, and of course, if we do end up keeping it here, even if it's temporary, we'll get something else for the cottage space, but I don't know. I just wanted to try it. Maybe Chris will say, no, that's crazy because he doesn't want to take it out. Plus I feel like, I don't know. And maybe it's not a perfect solution, but that's what I'm thinking about. Um, yeah. I know in another vlog I mentioned, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the picture frame molding in this hallway. So what my thought is currently is right where this is. I'm thinking of doing it only this section. The rest of the entry won't have it. Um, I'm just literally thinking of doing it there because I don't want to carry it up the stairs and I don't really want to do it on this wall either. So that is what, that's what I'm thinking. But again, I can't get the picture frame molding stuff because it's all sold out. So hopefully at some point I'll be able to do it. Do it in here. I guess I'll do it in here. I mean, there's not really much to do just because of the the bookcase, but that's what I'm thinking. Two Amazon packages just came, so I thought it would be fun to show you what I got because they're very funny and random. So this box is filled with olive branches. I'm thinking of trying to make a DIY olive tree, but um, I don't think the quality of these ones are as nice as the ones that I got from Beauclair. However, these were I gotta say $20 per branch, and I got three branches for around $20, so I need more branches, and I'm not going to uh, buy the more expensive ones, so I'm hoping that this will just have to do. We'll see. Also, I got a kitten sling, so when he comes down, I'll show you how that looks. I decided I'm gonna give the faux olive tree a go. Um, I now have the branches, and I saw a branch that had fallen off a tree outside that I'm going to use. And I saw some other people do this. 
Okay, so I got my stick. I got it off the roof. If you think it's too long, that isn't a big deal because you can always chop off the bottom so that the top branches stay natural. Um, I had this old basket. I think it's the garbage basket, but I'm gonna use it as a pot. Um, I have a bottle which is gonna fit the trunk of this in it. And then to be completely honest, the best thing to do would be to put cement in here to keep it heavy. Um, I used cat litter, but is that how I'm gonna explain it on my Instagram reels? Absolutely not. Um, but rather than standing here for hours or trying to make the branch um, stay straight in cement, I thought that a bottle was a good idea. So this is a milk bottle um, that I got from Farm Boy with chocolate milk in it. So I think I'm gonna give this a trim. Um, I think I'm just gonna grab a saw and trim it and then I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm hoping that it should stay pretty straight. And then I have some like straw stuff that I can cover this with or I can grab mulch from the garden, I guess. But I think the straw should be better. So this is what I am going to use on top um, of that just to cover up the plastic bag. It was from a gift box. I think that should work for now. Finn thinks it might work as well. He's helping with the process. And I'm gonna trim the bottom of this branch um, and then put it in the bottle. So I'm gonna do that next. So I've got the tree in the basket. I mean, ideally it wouldn't be so crooked. I guess I can trim this branch. I'll likely do that just cause it's really leaning too much. I guess what I could do is trim this branch here and then drill a hole and have it come out there. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little tiny drill bit um, because that is the thickness of the ends of these. And I think I'm gonna drill little holes and then stick these in. And we'll see if it holds, but I may need to use a glue gun. Can you not, please? Can you not? So I'm gonna start with the first pack of olive branches just in case it goes south. Um, I can at least return the other two packs. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fluff them so that they're not so straight. And then I'm gonna cut the branches so that all four of these individual branches can be placed on this in a separate spot to make it look a little more realistic. So I've just done a few so far. So they just slot in the holes, but I think I'm going to use a glue gun just to secure them. Um, and of course I'm gonna do a lot more olive stems in this. I just wanted to show you a close up. Okay, so far it's looking pretty good, I have to say. And what I've been doing is like, this it was too thin to do a hole, so I just glued the branch onto the branch, and because the um, bark is pulling off, I just glued an extra little piece of bark on the tip. So that has been working out well. This is just one pack of three branches, so I've got two more to go. So I actually think I only need one more package and then maybe I can make a little tree with the second package. I think I'm stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me it seems like. I think I'm finished. I think I'm gonna leave it more of like a sparse olive tree. Um, and then I have extras left over so I can make a tiny another little one. I really like this. I don't know that it's gonna stay here. I really just need to do a big, big cleanup. Um, and then we're going for a walk in a bit, so I might look for a smaller straight branch that I could use to make another one, but the leftovers. So it's just in this empty corner right now in our dining room. But um, I think it might look better in here. I mean, there, um, this can go somewhere else, something like that. But it's just kind of a messy zone. I need to clean this up. So I'm gonna do a big cleanup, um, go for a walk and maybe I'll get the second branch. Look at my cute sleepy cats. 
I thought I would give you an update on how the cats are doing. Um, I think every day is a little bit better with the two of these guys. Um, Finn still really loves to play and Lily likes to play with him sometimes, but he just, I think, takes it a little far. Um, we finally got Lily to come back and sleep in the bed this week. It's been three nights of her sleeping in the bed, which has been really good. Um, and I think a big positive thing. And we're just trying to get Finn to stop jumping on her. Um, because they'll be playing and then he'll just randomly jump at her even though she hasn't done anything. So we're trying to get him to stop doing that. I know he's a kitten and he just wants to play, but overall I'd say it's going pretty well. You probably heard in some of the videos a little bit of hissing. When they play, They um, there's a little bit of hissing sometimes. So that is why, but I'd say overall they're doing better day by day. Um, and I think it could have gone a lot worse. So I'm sure in a few more weeks they'll be best buddies. So I ended up bringing the tree in here, mostly just to take a picture, but I do think I wanna get another one for in here. And then I wanna show you, I ended up putting the candle here in the bathroom because it seemed kind of spa-like and just made sense. You may have seen on Instagram, I did a poll on if I should do a bath mat, one here and one here, it says his and hers, or a runner, and you guys voted for runner. So I did place the order for that, so hopefully that'll be here soon. I'm just editing the vlog and realized that I never showed you what the kitten sling looked like, and that's because I got it today and haven't had a chance to try him in it because he's mostly playing. So you have that to look forward to in the future or possibly also on stories. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely got more things crammed into this vlog than I expected to. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I hope you enjoy the long weekend because I know in the US and in Canada, we both have Monday off, so enjoy it.